ternyata terang Pesaika kerah dekaipang Gak kerah misali Idanya Listen, I sense to talk about something before we go into the teaching tonight. In the book of Job, you will find many voices that speaks to a man. And every man needs to become aware of these different voices that speak. Reason being that when voices speak, they have a capacity to mold. That means when you hear a voice, that voice is going to shape your life. The reason we are speaking English is because we heard a voice that kept speaking English to us. And now our speech and language has been molded in that direction. If you were giving birth to and you were in China, and the voice you kept hearing uttered Chinese, by now you will be speaking Chinese. So there are voices that speak, but when it comes to your work with God, your existence as a human being, the voices that speak is not basically about language, it's about intention. That means that you will hear a voice, not because it's trying to transmit the utterances of a language as it were, but it's trying to transmit a way of life. Depression is a, an offshoot of a language a person has been listening to. So when you find yourself beginning to become depressed, it means someone or something has been talking to you. In the book of Job, in my little studies, I found about 12 different kinds of voices a man can hear. Is it the voice of God, the voice of angels, the voice of demons, the voice of circumstances, the voice of tradition? There are many things that can speak to you and you need to be keen to discern which of the voices you are going to hear because a voice that can speak to you in the name of comforting you. Job speaking about his friends, he said, yeah, miserable comforters. So when you say somebody is a miserable comforter, it means when the person tries to comfort you, what his words will do is to administer more misery. So at the end of the day, you are, you are going to be a a person living in misery, if a miserable comforter decides to comfort you. What happens in the language of depression is that certain voices begin to administer a sense of comfort that is not from God. When a man comes to a point where he thinks if I kill myself, life will become better, it's because death was trying to comfort him. Death was telling him that the situation you are in, if I walk on you, you will become better. So die. I don't know who it is, but I'm trying to talk to somebody first. That the reason why you are beginning to feel depressed is that there is a voice that is talking to you. And it is not the Holy Spirit. He said, I will not leave you as orphans. I will send the Holy Spirit to you and he will comfort you. When the Holy Ghost comforts a person, he doesn't only give you comfort. What he does is that he will open a fountain of comfort within you. So that by the time you are comforted, you are able to comfort others with the comfort wherein you were comforted. So if you hear a sense of comfort and the outcome of the comfort doesn't put you in a place where you can comfort other people, it means it was not God that was comforting you. I'm sure that if you are dead, your death is not going to comfort anybody. People will gather to cry and to bury you, whether the cry is real or not. But when the Holy Ghost is the one that brings you comfort, one of the proofs is that you will not only be comforted, from it, you can bring out comfort for other people. Hear me. Hear me. You can't be depressed. You have the Holy Ghost. You will need to learn how to shut out other voices. When Peter was telling Jesus you can't die, Jesus could read that this voice is not Peter. Jesus knew the different voices on it. When people came to ask him questions in order to trap him, he knew, the Bible says that they were doing that not because they loved him or they wanted to learn from him. They were doing it from envy. So when you speak, Jesus can say, hmm, envy is the one speaking. 
if you are going to conquer depression, the person I'm talking to, you will learn to shut down every voice until the only voice you listen to is the Holy Ghost. Because even if wealth speaks to you in order to comfort you, and it tells you, when you get 10 million, life go better, is a lie. People pack their cars and committed suicide. So buying a car is not going to comfort you. That voice that is telling you, by the time I'm married, everything will be okay, is a lie. People are mad. Do you know how many people get divorced? I just found out that, is it the US? They say seven over ten get divorced. Out of ten people that get married, they are sure seven will get divorced. And, and we are running after them already in Nigeria. The average lifespan of marriage in Nigeria is about two or three years now. And even if you find them living in the same house, it doesn't mean they are married. It just means they are living together in the house. You have to find that voice that brings real comfort. Can somebody talk to God tonight and say, Holy Ghost, be the only voice I subscribe to. When I set out to war against the things that bedevil my soul, let my comfort be from the Holy Ghost alone. I refuse to be depressed. I don't know who you are. You will have to tell yourself, I refuse to be depressed. I refuse to. I don't know whether it is the voice of circumstances that is talking to you or maybe a demon has latched upon an experience and has become a counselor to your soul but the Holy Ghost was sent that we may have comfort. Can you say only the Holy Ghost speaks to me? And if there be any other voice like Jesus, you can call that voice by name and say, get deep behind me circumstances. Get deep behind me traditions. Get deep behind me human merit. Get deep behind me confusion. Get deep behind me guilt. Get deep behind me. Get deep behind me, mammon. I choose the voice of the Holy Ghost and his voice alone. Oh, come kakobe. We come against the voices and the oppressions of depression this very moment in the name of Jesus. There is a fountain that brings joy and we bring a demand upon that fountain. From the fountain of life Let it flow Spirit flow From the fountain of life Let it flow Spirit flow from the fountain of life, oh, oh, oh. let it flow, spirit flow, let it flow from the fountain of life, let it flow, spirit flow from the fountain of life. Let it flow, 
can worship God. I am Kapara Seneata. From the fountain of life.
My lover, paper ride is calling, cause they be singing. I will be singing and dancing and chanting for the rest of the eternity. My daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, your bestie is calling, your baby is calling. I will be singing and dancing and chanting for the rest of eternity.
Can you ask God for speed? I don't know what is the matter, but can you ask God for speed? I don't know the issue you want God to attend to with speed, but can you ask God for speed? We mount up with wings as eagles. We run and not faint. We walk and we do not grow weary. Holy Ghost, cause us to move. Woo! I'm an antique up over quarter. A penanta tefelante kai, opa pantes covite, a prata tai to a campela, a pofa utua naikamo, a pempala taking vacua. Ay, 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 oh, come on. can do a quick walk in righteousness believe him oh believe Jesus it's a good time to do business in his presence Holy Ghost. 